Hey, I'm Ralph. Hey, what's the deal? This is your boy, Uncle Luke. And this is Bigfoot. What are you fellas doing down here today? Man, what we're doing down here, we're going to survey some women. We're going to see really if they qualify yeah. to be Playboy Bunnies. Right, yeah. Bigfoot? Right, exactly. What are you looking for, Bigfoot? I'm looking one of them. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm looking one of them to be my sperm bank. It is my like my little pimp for me. It is. So it's less about looks and Playboy material and more about you know sperm bank potential. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 have, you read, have you read Playboy? I mean, you gotta take it serious. I am be, taking it serious. Is, I'm yeah. not kidding around. What's I don't joke around with you, this. You, 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 gonna, you gonna fuck one of the girls? I'm sure if I can get Run away. Show? If I can get away with it. Uh, what you gonna put your feet in first, bro? No, 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 no. Yeah, wow, we've got a great panel of guys today. Brutally honest men who all love to talk about one thing, women. Uh, let me introduce my panel to you. Everyone knows Ralph. Ralph is a very controversial figure on this show. A lot of people don't like Ralph. They feel that he's a loudmouth, has no right to an opinion. And Ralph, every once in a while, there is the odd true. Ralph fan. All right. Well, Ralphie Cakes has a telestrator with him today where he will be able to draw on Howard TV oh. any flaws he sees on a girl. Like he, John Madden. Like a twisted John Madden. That's right. So that's going to be a very useful thing. And if uh, the other guys have some comments, maybe Ralph will telestrate as well. I'm going to introduce you to our second judge. His name is Bigfoot. Everyone loves him. How are you, Bigfoot? I'm fine. Now, I understand you were in New York anyway, and we were able to drag you in here. Yeah. yeah. What were you doing in town? Well, I was doing in town, and I was just visiting around it is and seeing if I could get back on the Stern Show here it is and crack, here some, it more, is. And cr crack some more jokes. And, and here you are. Yeah. Yep, yep, you're here. And uh, what about you? You love pussy, right? Oh, I love it. <laughs> Any yeah. way I can get it. Right. When's How the last time? How often do you get it? Oh, I got it when I was up in Vermont. There's some girl named Mel it is, and... She was fine. Yeah. Did the authorities know? <laughs> yeah, you didn't oh, I didn't need to know let no authorities know. I kept her in wine coolers and oh, you all, kept all, all, all that kind chained of chained up in the basement. Good. How old a broad are we talking about here? Oh, about 45. 45 year old. Yeah, I, she had, I, had a decent body. Oh, wicked body on yeah. it. Yeah, and you probably got a big, thick penis. So you. Oh, have... <laughs> I told you, nine and a half inches. Yeah, and she handled it all. Uh, she handled the whole thing with a pooper. She did. You didn't need to wear a penis. <laughs> with oh, and a pooper. pooper. She, she gave it to her in the ass? No, I gave her ass backwards. Ass backwards. Yeah. Oh. I, I do things ass backwards, sideways, <laughs> what, what, whatever way I can get it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Artie, like, look who's here. This? Artie, Bigfoot's here. <laughs> I do think ass backwards, I do. Yeah. Hey, Artie. What do you think? He's fucking a chick in the ass? What are you doing? What are you doing backwards? I don't understand. Oh, you can fuck a pussy his ass backwards it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you mean? Like she's on all fours or? Yeah, all fours. Doggy on her, style. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, on her elbows and uh, knees. I see. Big Doggy Foot. style. Uh, doggy style, right. Bigfoot has clearly killed several people. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever, Have you ever killed, anyone? killed anyone? No, I've no. never killed was anybody. She, was she blindfolded and gagged? No, I don't blindfold them. I just you keep, don't? I, I just keep them well al alcoholed up at this. There's four chicks tied up in a motel in upstate New York. Right Where now. did you find this girl? Oh, I just find them it is like in the mall. Just <laughs> like finding uh, what I do like, is like you use clothes. Is that I, uh, right? Yeah. No, really. Where'd you find this girl? How'd you meet her? Oh, I've known her for a while, it is, and she kind of got interested in me, it is, after I had all that money and I blew it on her, it is. Uh, and, yeah. yeah, so you need to know, so here's the deal. Bigfoot called, the, the way we knew he was in New York is he called us yesterday. <laughs> his relationship with his manager has just deteriorated. It's gone. All the money's gone, Howard, that he won from the contest. Oh, no. And he was calling because he needs sixty dollars for money gas did you money win? to get back to Vermont. Five grand. And it's all gone? Yeah. What'd I you spent, do with it? I spent it. I paid off my Cadillac. I Oh yeah, now you can't afford gas? Yeah. <laughs> That's not a bad a good move. Bigfoot, do you work? Uh, I work when I'm up in Newport, I do. What do you do? I transport people around and deliver beer and cigarettes and tobacco and whatever else I can get my hands on. So you ran through $5,000 <laughs> and you don't even feel bad about it? No. Oh, I what about? You, I think you need another 5000 Yeah, but it doesn't grow <laughs> on trees. What are your caddy? I think it does. But Howard, we're in that weird spot again where he calls us to get him the gas money because... Who else is he going to call? Right. Oh, give yeah, him some gas money. Parents Artie. Oh, Christ. This is a new one now i got to deal with? <laughs> Artie, give him some flyers for your movie. Ah, yeah. <laughs> hey, I need 
I'm trying to run for president. Yeah, with the tobacco and beer, I got something else for you to deliver. Well, look who else is here as a judge, a man we all respect. Uncle Luke is here. That's right, Luke Skywalker, the man who really understands women. Uh, you you more than anyone, uh, Luther Campbell, a.k.a. Uncle Luke and Uncle Luke Skywalker, uh, is a huge star, a and rap star. And probably had more women than any. I mean, probably all of you combined. Yeah, you're probably the world's most authority on women, right? Yeah, they told me I was a pussyologist three steps out of the gynecologist. <laughs> That's right. Pussyologist I mean, I, three steps out of the gynecologist. Three, three steps out in the gynecologist. Yeah. Could, you, could you actually fix a woman's vagina like a gynecologist? You know so much about women. Yeah, I think I can. You know, it's sometimes uh, some of the, you know, the, the best remedy to fixing a pussy is... Is is soaking them in Epsom salt? Really? You, you know, come on, Robin. Stop you know about it. the Epsom soaking salt? Soaking them in Epsom salt. Yeah, soak the pussy in Epsom salt. It cleans it out and it tightens it up. It is brings that, it, it back. Does. What kind of yeah. girls are you with? It brings it back. It, it brings it back because you know, you know, the, the worst thing about a pussy when it's too big, too wet, too out of control because it's been beat up so much. So you got to bring it back. Epsom salt. What do you think these back. hairs on your chin for? You? <laughs> Get right down there and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Luke, you've been with uh, so many women. Your stage show was second to none, of course. Uh, you had many female dancers who worked for you. Yeah. Uh, you call them your women. It's almost like you're a pimp, right? Luke girls. No, no, I'm not a pimp. Luke no. girls. Because pimps, the, the pimps actually take money from the girls. Right. You know, I help the girls make money. Right. No, you've yeah. always been good about that. And, uh, you know, in, in listening to your audio book, uh -oh. A man can learn so much. You can you learn a lot. You listen to the book, huh? Oh, yeah. You can learn a lot. You you took your female dancers and you would teach them tricks. Yeah. You could teach a woman how to shoot objects out of their vaginas, right? Yeah. No, I tell them they have to be innovative. I mean, you know, you got to be creative. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's for their stage work, you say? Yeah, that's what a stage What work. are some of the things they would shoot out of there? Actually, uh, one of the craziest things, one of my girl dancers, she actually put a... Uh, a small baby doll in a, a, in a baby vagina. doll. Yeah, and pushed it out on oh stage. Oh my goodness! That's nice. I'm gonna send you one of the freak show tapes. <laughs> You're telling me she she put a full size uh, bigger than a Barbie. Uh, bigger than a Barbie. And yeah. put it all the way in a vagina and, and then simulated vagina. giving birth on stage. Yeah, simulated. Wow. Yeah, exactly. The crowd must have went wild. Oh, they were bananas. <laughs> I mean, you, des no you described too. Uh, you taught a woman to shoot a fake eyeball out of her vagina. Yep, yep. She uh, took the eyeball, put it in there. And actually made it roll around wow. in a vagina. Then another girl, uh, she took in a little torch. But did you, did you know this? This was the wildest thing. One of one of my girl dancers actually took a light bulb, put it in a vagina, and made the light bulb come on. Ah, how the hell she did that? Did she, she made she the light that? bulb come on. She made the light bulb come Is on. Is that a trick light bulb? Uh, I don't know what it was. Typical fester. Yeah. David Blaine does that, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, but this is a this is out of the vagina. This is unbelievable. Yeah. Um, you, you even describe, and, and, and the reason I bring up all these stories about Uncle Luke is that he is here to evaluate women, and you have to understand the level of expertise on right. this man. Uh, but he, when you see a woman <laughs> shooting things out of her vagina on stage, does that make you want her? No. It's, it's <laughs> no. No. You, that's not sexy. It's more of a stunt. It's a novelty thing. Right? Huh? It's to make the act better. I, actually, actually, the guys, all every city we go to, the guys jump on stage and and, and want to be with the girls really? right then. Right then. I got to send y'all some freak show tape. <laughs> didn't you actually have a whole football team, a professional football team, get up on stage and all your girls blew the football team right up on stage? Yeah, you've been, re you've been listening yeah, to the well, audio. That's book. right. Yeah, well, 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 who was, what was the football team? Uh, here we go. Was it here a pro go. team or a... Well, some football players. Uh -huh. it, it was, right. What it was, it was some basketball players uh, in Detroit. Uh, fab four, fab five or something like that. And they... Came to one of my shows. The guys from Michigan? I don't know. If the Fab Michigan. Five from Michigan? Uh -huh, <laughs> they got on stage. They got on stage and started pulling their pants down. And Wait a and, minute. Uh, like Jalen Rose and those guys? Some, somebody. I don't know what Chris name Weber, it was. Right? I don't yes. know what name it was. He doesn't know any names. The details all are foggy. I know, all I know is they was on stage uh, taking their pants off and getting blowjobs. Oh, my wow. wow. Yeah. That's a big story. Chris Weber and Jalen Rose got blown at all. <laughs> He didn't say that. <laughs> I ain't say no name. See, last time I was on the show here yeah. at, at the University of Miami, they wanted to uh, 
Say that I said I paid people off. <laughs> I said, yeah, you was on Howard Stern's show and you said that you paid people off. I was like, nah, nah, nah. So actually, you know, from the graces of the show, I'm back under investigation. Oh, oh no. no. Are <laughs> yeah. you really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. I stay up under the This is Join satellite, the club. though. Nobody hears. You can That's talk right. You can talk anything. about anything. <laughs> so what, what uh, and, and you know, you're so such a ladies' man that uh, you once said, I'm going to break a record. I'm going to see how many groupies I could have sex with in one night. How many women were engaged in that contest? <laughs> it was actually, that was that was in my younger days. Right. You don't no, do I, this anymore. No, no, I didn't do that. I don't do that anymore. You want to see how many girls too, you could bang in one night, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. It was, it was at uh, in Daytona Beach at spring break. How many girls in one night? It was like about 12 girls. 12 girls. I, I, <laughs> it, it wasn't like, okay, To completion? I'm just, I'm just, no, it wasn't to completion. What do you no, mean? I was you just going... Your... Going in and going out and then going to another room, <laughs> going in, going out to another room. And I was just, you know, just having fun. Fun, right. yeah. Wow, yeah. that doesn't wow. sound so bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's unbelievable. I mean, do you even care about women anymore, you've had? <laughs> of course. Of course I <laughs> You do. never get enough, huh? No, it's, I, it, I'm always, I always, at that time, I always wanted to do something crazy. I, I mean, I, I went in Japan. I got on stage and I said, I always want to get Rick James. Eats Tina Marie pussy on stage, so I want to get a blowjob on stage. So I brought some Japanese girls up, and they gave me a blowjob. You know, you know, the only time I got fucked by twelve girls is when I bet on a basketball game and and the WNBA. Yeah, I lost. Can I ask Uncle Luke a question? Because that that story you were telling about the football players and stuff. I thought I read that from your audio book, and then afterwards, uh, everybody went back to hotel room, and some people pissed on the girl. Yeah. What do you mean? It was a, it was a golden shower night that night. Yeah. It was, you know, it's Wednesdays. Called, see what we do is we call it sacrifice weekend. <laughs> sacrifice weekend. Explain. Sacrifice weekends. What what sacrifice weekends used to be is like we'll just call it sacrifice weekend. And then we'll get girls and it'll be like, hey, you know, we'll sacrifice a girl and then bring the girls into a room. I'll uh, bring them on the boat and you know we just do all kind of different things. Now, do you take <laughs> sexual pleasure in pissing on a woman? Yeah, golden you do. showers. Yeah, you yeah, like that's that. a good thing. Yeah, huh? that's a beautiful thing. Is it? I never got into that. Like, what? Would you get hard when you uh, pee on them? Yeah. 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 And wow. then what do you do? Do you? You just piss on them. You just piss all over. But do you have <laughs> sex with them after you do no, that? No, 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 no. What would you? What you do is you lay them on a glass table. Yeah, a glass back, table. Back, yeah, it's it's like a whole ritual uh-huh, type thing. Uh huh. This German guy told me this one time when I used to cook. He said, "Look, you you gotta." Uh, you know, the golden showers, and then he he talked about shitting on girls, oh, but geez. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> you know, he, he said all the things you eat and everything, you drink good champagne and, and eat good food and all that, and then you shit on the girls. But you I, want I, to I shit on them! <laughs> <laughs> but you never got into shitting on women. No, no, never did. So no. you just lay them down on the glass table and just go to town? Yeah, everybody just stands up over and Everybody. Yeah. Bigfoot, you ever piss on a girl? Oh, I, yeah. By on purpose, or...? <laughs> An you pissed on a girl? Yeah, I pissed on a girl. There's one that I, 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 I. You thought she was coming, so you pissed in her mouth. No, I didn't piss it in her mouth. I just. <laughs> it was online at the supermarket. It was. <laughs> no, she, she was a little bit too, a little bit too dry. It is, she I was in the express lane. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're missing a gem here. You're yeah, saying. Yeah. What did you say? What did you say? I, she was a little bit dry in the vagina. She needed a little uh, wetness. A little wetness. <laughs> so you peed. Uh, uh, in yeah. there? You, you know, peed in it? it? it yeah. It. It's oh. quite a lubrication process. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my god. Uncle Luke, did you ever hear anything like that? <laughs> no. Yeah. I, I heard a, one, one cat uh, <laughs> played for the Dolphins. He, he, he used to piss in the girl's mouth. Really? Was yeah. that Marino? No. Oh, stop. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh. And, um... <laughs> you, once said, friend. you once said you had sex with a groupie. And then you were nervous that she was like kind of crazy and that she would accuse you of rape or something, which you would never do. And you said in order to keep her calm, you went out with her for a while until her pussy healed. Now, I didn't understand that. What do you mean her pussy healed? No. What happened is uh, this one groovy girl we put on the tour bus. We got on the tour bus and then she uh, she drove with us from Orlando to Alabama. We was doing different dates. And uh, the girl started acting crazy. You know, she was calling up. You know, I would listen to the phone calls in the in the uh, hotel room, and she was calling up her friends, talking about, oh, I'm going to get him on rape. I'm going to get him on rape. I'm going to get paid. All this, this stuff. So I had previously had sex with her. 
Right. So I just, okay, we got to keep this girl on the road for a little while bef- before she goes. And, you know, after you didn't have sex with her, right. before you know it, you know, she'll be sitting up there saying she had rape. So then, you know, we then got the uh, tape recorder and start taping all the calls and everything like Smart. that. Smart. You know, the day that she, she was going to go get the cops and all this, you know, it was like, okay, you know, put the tape recorder on you. Oh, so you got somewhere to go to this morning, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had no, she started had, having an attitude and all that, like, you know, that it was a problem. Put the tape on the counter and say, oh, you want to hear yourself? Ah. You know, and bust her right there, and then we well, dropped her off. Because uh, that's extortion. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's you... what those girls do. A lot of those girls do that. Right. You know, not Robin, because she's paid. You know, Robin. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, oh, I would <laughs> do it, but I get paid. <laughs> no, no. Rob, if Robin didn't have this job, she's getting pissed on and uh, accusing people of rape. <laughs> I'm going to keep going out of you. Out with you until your pussy heals it, though. You had a great, uh, you had a great uh, moment in your uh, personal history. The great Muhammad Ali asked you to get him laid, didn't he? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Where did that what happen? was that? We was at some we was at some fundraiser and he was sitting there and I, you know, he was like, Hey, 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 where, where's the girls, man? Where's the girls? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh shit. It doesn't was he matter. all shaky and everything? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter how shaky a man is, he still wants to get girls. Oh, right? my and, man. and then you start looking at the documentaries, it's like Ali had plenty of women. I'm like, shit, yeah. I should have got him laid. <laughs> but uh, it's unbelievable. And a lot of celebrities flock to you. You are the man. Uh, a lot of uh, celebrities like Robert. De Niro. I know he loves black women. He used to come to your club, right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I had this club on South Beach called Luke's uh, Miami Beach before uh, the city of Miami Beach ran me off the beach. <laughs> and uh, Miami Beach ran you off the beach? Yeah. They back, didn't like your club? Back then, you, back then, it was the first black club on the beach. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was, right. You know, we had races, everything. Races, uh, city manager, races, police chief, everything. And they just, a lot of races down there. Yeah, yeah they yeah. couldn't understand me having a club on the beach, you know. And uh, <laughs> even I don't like you having a club on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Imagine that club. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, a, little, was... a little jealous it is. Yeah, or... That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> jealous of the well, black man. Reading your mind already. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah You're no he dummy. Used to, he used to come in and uh, he liked that this one uh, uh, waitress named Frida. Right. He used to be in there every night, you know. And he, he loves the black yeah. ladies. He I sure didn't know does. that. Oh, yes, yeah. That's what we always read. And Michael Jordan, he never came to your club. He likes the white clubs. Yeah. Jordan likes the white girls. You know? Right. <laughs> white not, girls. not Jordan's coming back black right now. Is he? Is he? Yeah. What yeah. do you mean by that? Jordan, you know, Joe, when Jordan was Jordan in... in uh, in the NBA, he wouldn't he wouldn't frequent too many black clubs. Is that right? right? But now, yeah. now you He's know, back. Yeah, <laughs> I heard Jordan was I heard Jordan was in the uh, in uh, Magic City. You don't get no blacker than that. If you go to Magic City in Atlanta, it's like well, you know, yeah. You know all about women. You even say pussy saved your life a couple of times. Yeah, it has saved my life. Where you were invited out and uh, you didn't yeah. go. Pussy kept you at home. Pussy, pussy kept me. In, p- <laughs> pussy kept me out of trouble. Mike Tyson, the story. Were you, were, the you, were you supposed to? You were supposed to be with Mike Tyson the night of his be in rape. That car, yeah. Yes, and yeah. and, and uh, you weren't in the car because you stayed home because you had pussy. Yeah, the girl stood up. She came in. She she was like, "You want to hang out with Mike? And you gonna leave all this?" She walked out of the room. She was butt naked, like. Came out of the bathroom. I was like, ah, oh, fuck, Mike. <laughs> like, yo, Mike, I can't come with you, dog. Not tonight. Right. And then the next morning, you know, next morning I saw all this stuff on the news about him leaving town. Is pussy your lucky charm? Pussy is my lucky charm. I love pussy. <laughs> I, I mean, pussy is a beautiful thing. It is. I, I love pussy. Yeah. And yeah. now, what is your situation now? Are you still out there uh, available no, not, to well, women, or are you a one-woman man now? I'm a one-woman man right now. Oh, yeah. bullshit. I'm trying, <laughs> you I'm, trying, that. I'm trying to hold that shit down. You've had so much <laughs> pussy in your life. Describe the perfect uh, pussy. The, the, describe the perfect pussy. Uh, uh, nice and nicely lubricated, uh, tight. It has to be tight. The pussy has to be tight. Yeah. It has to have a, you know, it has to have a nice size clitoris that, you know, comes in and out. And uh, carefully shaved. <laughs> Look carefully at the, shaved. I think Bigfoot, Bigfoot just popped a big boner. <laughs> you don't think so, Bigfoot? Like what do you think? What is the best I, pussy I like for you? Nice, nice and hairy it is. Is it oh. right? that, yeah. that way you get your balls off. And that way oh. you get off and hairs the hairs. <laughs> You yeah. guys don't know. <laughs> Bigfoot, Bigfoot, you must have uh, you must have come encounter encounter some smelly pussy in your day, right? Some 
Oh, yeah. I've come across some raunchy ones that is. I'm the saddest <laughs> time it is up in Newport it is about where I was fucking one girl it is and it was this other girl is taking a broomstick to her vagina while she Whoa. had her period. Whoa. Oh jeez. Uh, that, that's Whoa. how horny she was that wanted me to fool around with her at the same time while I was fooling around with somebody else. Uh, I I was kind of this lost in the situation it is. Yeah. And I just didn't know what to do with two of them at the same time. Well, you should talk to Uncle Luke. He'll tell you what to yeah. do with 12 of them at the same time. Yeah. D- didn't Bigfoot have a guy blow him too or something? Yeah, that what? is. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uncle Luke. That, you, that, you, that, that, you a switch hitter? Huh? You, you a switch hitter, Bigfoot? You a didn't s- tell me that in the back room. Switch hitter? What? Switch hitter. You back did, from did, both Did you blow some place? guy? No, some guy blew me. Well, What's I'm that gay. all about? Uncle Luke, isn't that gay? <laughs> That's gay Bigfoot. Yeah. I don't say they're gay. It is. I mean, hey, you got to stay alive somehow. It isn't gay. <laughs> hey, if you don't give a little, a, a little cock out to the, some of those uh, jailbirds, you can't get any of that happy smoke. Oh. <laughs> you, let a guy, you let a guy blow you for weed in jail? Of course. What were yeah. you in jail for? How, how do you think I survived in there? <laughs> How many years were you in jail? Well, the longest was 18 months, and I was happy as could be in there. 18 wow. months? Yeah. Yeah, and you liked yeah. it in there. And Why got- were you in jail? Oh, because of all those beanies I did. Oh, I, I, breaking and entering. Oh, yeah, I love that. It is. <laughs> how, I, how, I just helped myself at somebody's home. I just open the refrigerator and start, start eating out of there like, I'm, like I own the place. Imagine you come home and he's in your house. <laughs> Bigfoot's in my house. Like hey, bear. aren't you on the Stern show? <laughs> yeah, Uncle yeah, Luke, he's a real player. A fairy no, tale gone yeah. wrong. Wait a minute, Bigfoot, how much weed did you have to give the guy to get him to blow? <laughs> uh, <laughs> About wait a minute. Four or five joints. You would, wait a minute. You would break into a home, right, during the day or something like that? During the day, it didn't matter. And then just go to the fridge and start eating? He, yeah. He, he, would, rape, he would rape refrigerators. <laughs> and what happened? Like, but, people but, would come uh, home from work and find I, you eating? I, I mean, I was so good at it, I even went into a cop's house and, 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 and took his gun holster. Oh, my God. Good wow. move. Well, how did you get caught if you were so good? He just started cracking me down like he do a Bigfoot. And then he started seeing big footprints in there and say, uh, that must be Bigfoot. And then on one of his journeys, yeah. I mean, ever watch that thing it is? Uh, when somebody's going through the snow, it is. It, tracks, uh, yeah. Tracks, yeah. They track tracks. you down. Yeah, yeah he hey. just uh, tracked me down, and, and I, oh, I sent them for a But hell. you took money, too, right? And stuff like that. You I didn't... took anything I could get my hands on. Right, I see. <laughs> Did you ever think about waiting till there wasn't snow on the ground to do it? <laughs> it didn't matter to me. When I was hey, talking... Gary, fix uh, Bigfoot's microphone so it's near, somewhere near his mouth. Just push that microphone down. Oh, there, there okay, now you got there it. There you go. go. Okay. There you go. I don't want to miss a word of what wow. you're saying. Uncle yeah. Luke is fascinated by you. <laughs> so I even stole rear ends out of uh, junkyards it is, and carried them over my back. It is, it is lo- 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 like it was a... Uh, you don't steal anymore, do you? No, not anymore. No. He's probably got retard strength, you know, like yeah. oh, the yeah. big heavy thing. 18 months in jail, so you say to a and guy, you were happy. I need weed, and the guy said, if I can blow you, I'll give you weed. Right. And, and, you, and, and, you let him. and how Thanks. often would that happen? Like every day, every couple of days? It would happen uh, probably at once a week. Wow. So you were like his big boyfriend or something. <laughs> well, I wasn't his boyfriend. I was, I was just a pimp. <laughs> a pimp? How do you figure? It's not a pimp, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? Th- and you were able to get aroused with a man blowing you? Ooh. Nah. You didn't get hard? Uh-huh. I got a little bit hard and not that much. <laughs> <laughs> I, I uh, like my pussy uh, just like he does. <laughs> and, what position, and what position would you be in when he blew you? Would you be standing or laying yeah, down? You you stand in it. Yeah, would you sometimes that lay way down? stand in front of the window and it, that way the guards wouldn't uh, get any close looks at it, those square windows. You can't really see much when my head's up in front of the window. Right. It's a giant Dang. head. <laughs> Hello, yeah. guard Kelly. I'm getting blown again. I am. <laughs> hey, uh, you imagine this guy's life, he's like, I need some weed, otherwise I can't blow this enormous guy. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. Wait a minute, did you threaten this little guy? 
No, he no. weren't little. He weren't little, okay. <laughs> no, no. All right, well, that's pretty good. I got to tell you, you've got some wild stories there. Well, Uncle Luke and Ralph and, uh, and of course, the great Bigfoot. Bigfoot's you... a little stinky, I got to say. Is he a little bit smelly? Yeah. Yeah. Uncle Luke is standing way far yeah, away. Luke is leaning <laughs> no, out Bigfoot, the door. Right. <laughs> Look, <did> Bigfoot... <laughs> I took a shower yesterday. You took a shower yesterday? Yesterday. Yeah, yeah all right. He's well... on the Richard schedule. <laughs> but, uh, it's probably after all that walking here. This Right, you're probably yeah. a little stinky. Yeah, go ahead. It was so weird this morning. I actually, um, we, we don't have that many green rooms, so I go into the green room to see who's in which one, and I see it's just Uncle Luke and Bigfoot. Uh, so I actually asked Ralph to go in and sort of talk to Uncle Luke, because Uncle Luke doesn't, I, you don't never met Bigfoot before, No, right? I never met Bigfoot. And, and it's a hard thing to throw him in a room if you don't know who Bigfoot right, is. Right, yeah. All right, listen, a lot of women are very anxious. <laughs> they want to know one thing, guys. They want to know, are they good enough for Playboy magazine? <clears throat> oh, we? Uh-oh. Yeah, you're the judges. Yeah. Let me explain it to Bigfoot. You're the judge, not whether you're good enough for Playboy magazine. Oh, yeah. that's what I thought you meant. <laughs> no, no. I don't think you're good enough for Playboy magazine. He was giving the blow job, getting the blow jobs. <laughs> All right. You three guys are experts on women, and I know we need an honest opinion, and I hope the women can handle it because a lot of women think they should be in Playboy. We want you to be brutally honest because right. they shouldn't go out of here thinking they can be in Playboy if they can't. All right. You so. should put up uh, Wireless A and Hardwire A. And hardwire A. Okay, well, you have to be an, an engineering genius to work on this show. All right, guys, I'm going to introduce you to the first woman. The first woman's name is Sietta. Sietta. Sierra? Sierra. Sierra is coming Sierra out? is. Ah, there she. Woo. Woo. Hello, Sierra. Hi. Well, you're no slouch, that's for sure. Uh, at first glance, I say you were a. Uh, a young woman. How old are you? I'm 18. 18 oh, years old. Well, you, you look very, very good. You're in a blue <laughs> bikini. Um, are you still in high school? No, I just graduated in June. Just graduated. Yeah. Okay. And your nice. dream is to be in Playboy? Yeah. It is. Now, these three guys, with your Uncle Luke a Skywalker, who's in a major rap band, he's toured the country, he even has... I think you've actually gotten women into some magazines, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Yeah. Quite and, a few of them. Yeah, and uh, and then, of course, you got Bigfoot, who says he's even gotten blowjobs from guys. That's how sexual <laughs> he is. And Ralph, everybody knows Ralph. And uh, you're tall. How tall are you? I'm 5'8 and a half. 5'8". You're thin. There's no question. What do you weigh? 120. You kind of look like Jennifer Love Hewitt a little bit to me. Has anyone ever said that to you? Dark hair? Gary, don't you agree with that? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. And you're wearing uh, high heels. You've got the hot shoes on. Mm -hmm. The nipple, I mean, the um, Mm -hmm. navel piercing. (laughs) The nipple piercing. I haven't seen (laughs) nipple piercing. Navel piercing. piercing. Do guys ever tell you you look like someone? I like Paris Hilton. I got that a lot. I I got platinum blonde hair. Right. So that. Match more with it. So Paris Hilton, and you say you're a virgin. I am. You're still oh. waiting for the right guy. Artie. Artie, you're a virgin. <laughs> oh, look at me. Bigfoot's here. Bigfoot, have wow. you ever had a virgin? <laughs> no, never have. Wow. I think the guy who blew you was a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Odds are. <laughs> you've got a boyfriend. You say you've been dating him for five months. Is yeah. that right? And you haven't given him any? No. What do I'm you waiting. do? What? Do you give him a hand job or anything like that? No, I'm a good girl. You're a good girl, so all you do is make out with him? Yeah. Does well, he get to fill you up? He respects my decision because he knows that when I'm ready. <laughs> and he's <laughs> fucking some girl on the side. <laughs> do you, does he fill you up or he doesn't even get to do that? No. A little bit? I don't know. We'll do, leave it at that. Do you dry hump him? No. Don't worry, because the girl he's fucking on the side is nowhere near as hot as you, I guarantee it. (laughs) Do you rub him over his pants at all to to give him a... Sure. You do? Sure. No, no, I'm being serious. What is the extent of your sexuality? What's the furthest you've gone? Like, some virgins will actually give up anal sex to make no, their boyfriend no, satisfied. Or oral or hand or jobs. Oral, anything That'd like that. would be the finger. You never give a man oral? No. Nothing? No. Wow, you really I'm are. Waiting. You're really waiting. Waiting oh, the right person. I, I, a real virgin. I just got the information oh. on this. <laughs> yeah. Mom's in the green room. Oh, your mom's in yeah, the green yeah, room. Yeah, yeah, she won't talk uh, about this. Oh, you're waiting. That's nice. Let's see your ass. No, but I really am a virgin. I turn why do you want to be in Playboy? Yeah, why do you want to be in Playboy? You're such a good girl. Because it's very classy, respectful, beautiful women. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I would love to, I would be honored. To you be would honored. be honored. Yeah. You know, you're not uptight about nudity? No. You don't mind people seeing you naked? No. Right. Just right now, though, today, I decide to just stay in my bathing suit. All right, that's fair enough. Let's see, turn around, oh, let the guys oh, see you. Oh, second. Oh. You're going to leave, you're, you're not even going to take the top off? Nice. No. That's a what? nice ass. I'm going to leave the bathing suit. 
Well, All right. Well, that's yeah. your decision. Yeah, Playboy, I would take it off. I'm going to okay. tell you right now, this has happened no. to us before. Don't burn us. You get in a Playboy because us, and you go out there and you fuck Pauly Shore. I swear to Christ, you're not no. coming back in the studio. <laughs> right. All right? All right, guys, it's a little hard to evaluate a woman for Playboy while she's uh, fully clothed. Yes, but, this is... Uh, uh, she ain't fully All right, but let's... Uh, not, let's well, I, we I can, can't we, tell. We, I can see. I just have no idea how good your breasts are yeah. for Playboy magazine. Or, There's or probably something wrong with them. No. Are, are they, they scarred? Real? Yeah. Oh, they're, they're real. real. Yep. All right. And they're perky? Yeah. They're pert. There's no wire, nothing. Nothing? Right. All right. Mm. You could well, just you could take the bathing suit off and just kind of cover the nipples or something. I'll do that. All right, that's fair enough. All right. Yeah. Lock the door because mom coming in. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get our ass kicked right. by your mom. Will your mother get naked? Oh, oh that's a nice look at her. Ooh. Yeah, you got nice <laughs> boobs. Nice. You got nice boobs. Wow, they're nice. You got a good point there. Nice. All right. Thank you. Wow. All right. Well, all right. All right. Well, now I guess it's time to evaluate. All right. I'm going to go to uh, Uncle Luke first. He is a ladies' man, and he would know. This is difficult because you know when you look at Playboy, you you the first thing you look at is between the legs, right? And and the Playboy pussies are carefully manicured, right? And it's like you know the, the pussy is you. We can't see no pussy. We got to use our imagination. So you, uh, you have no information here, and you can't honestly I, evaluate. I cannot honestly evaluate this lady. Yet. So is your recommendation that uh, she has to take the bottom off or the top? All of right. Well, she's not comfortable with that, so you Uncle Luke it's... unfortunately cannot give you an evaluation. Okay. I understand his dilemma. What as... Uncle Luke is saying, it's like asking us if some guy belongs in the Hall of Fame, but we can't see him hit. You know, I mean, let's right. see, exactly. see the pussy. Yeah. I know. All right. Well, well, you're not comfortable with that, I take it. No, well, I, how are you going to take your clothes off for the pictorial? No, if it was for Playboy, I would do that. Even oh. test shots? If they said they're going to test shoot yeah. you, you'll yeah. take it off. Well, J- Jason, Jason, Jason is Jason actually is a... Uh, yeah. Jason does have a uh, camera, if that yeah, helps but, you. But, uh, hold yeah. on, play, I, this, Go, Jason. This is the biggest show in the world, sweetheart. I mean, Playboy ain't got nothing on the Howard Stern show. That's my if point. You're going to take, yeah. it off, take it off for the Stern show. Shit. Well, I do agree with that. Bigfoot. Well, she came in to be evaluated for Playboy. I don't understand. Well, I think there's a confusion here. Bigfoot, are you able to decide? Oh, I'm looking a little bit there. She got the little dimple over here on her side there. Yeah. Do you yeah. like that? Is that good or bad? Turn, turn around. That's, that's good in a way, and in a way it's not. So you <laughs> don't think she's a good candidate for Playboy? I don't know. I can't really tell if that's a scar mark or what where, is where, What where? is the dimple? Can you uh, telestrate that, Ralph, and point it, out? I'm not sure where you said. About where here, use this laser pointer. Part, here, here, use this. Use this. <laughs> yeah, point it out with the laser. dimple right on here, on the, on the camera. Look, he's, he, he, oh, got oh, it. Well, got I, it? I can't find the light. <laughs> oh, there <laughs> it is. It, 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 it's the red thing. That looks like a uh, black and blue mark. Yeah. Oh, I look. have, like, two bruises. I don't know where they came from. All right. It's a bruise. It's a bruise. That certainly is a cover uh, that's going to go away. Yeah. How'd yeah. you get bruised? I have no idea. Now, I honey, kinda we're going to give you the light, uh-huh. and if you could point out some of Bigfoot's imperfections. <laughs> <laughs> well, well Bigfoot. Kind of, uh, for a right. playboy, that would kind of set you a little bit off. Having yeah, but it, 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 keep the camera there, Scott. If you notice, she's got a nice little camel toe thing going yep. there. Let me see that, Ralph. Okay. Right, right point there. That out. Just, yeah. yeah. Move it. Yeah. To get away from the right, light. There's move Ralph it. telestrating see that? See that camel toe. See that? That's nice. You like that. Yeah. See, Luther, she's got a nice little. But you gotta fucking use your imagination. And it looks like oh, it's shaved. She's it off. Go pull ahead. it down a little bit. Pull down. Pull down the, the the bathing suit just a little bit down to the top of your. Vagina. Oh, guys, honestly. She's <laughs> totally shaved. That's nice. That is good. I, I'm I just hate... gonna... And no razor bumps, right? No. Good for you. I hate to sound repetitive. This is the hottest chick I've ever seen. <laughs> hey, Howard, can, can I point I mean, out something that the guys might not be able to see? Yeah. Mm. Can you sort of turn, look directly at the guys and give them a giant smile? No. A, yeah, oh, she's I can, missing I a tooth. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you're missing I'm a sorry. tooth. Uh, I, I spotted that as soon as you came oh, okay. All right, circle that, Ralph, please. It, turn, a, smile. Yeah, smile. Now, if you're missing a tooth, give us a smile. Oh. Yeah, you're missing a tooth. What yeah, happened right, there? Right. You're no, a pretty I, girl. I know. Well, I need my teeth fixed. <laughs> Good yeah. Lord. Yeah, well, what, no. How'd that happen? <laughs> Did no, your boyfriend I, I punch just... you because you won't fuck him? Actually, oh, she's not up. missing it. I think the tooth, there's a tooth. No, I just have, like, really bad You have yeah, bad teeth. Your mom never got your braces? No, I need to get them. Yeah, you Would you grow that? up in a Dickens novel? What? I mean, there's dentists and shit. I mean, come on. She wasn't adopted by Madonna, yeah, obviously. Well, I, <laughs> can right. I jump in here now? I never got braces either, and believe me, I suffer for it. Look at my beauty. Now, will her teeth keep her out of Playboy? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah airbrush it. Oh, fix it's fake teeth. Really? All yeah. right. If um, uh, Ralph, yeah, I you got know. you got to you got to fix your teeth, and you got to wear like more makeup, look like more hoary, you know. 
Well, yeah. not for Playboy, little she doesn't. Rock, yeah, yeah, a little, a little bit. bit. Makeup uh, on your I tried to keep eyes. It yeah, the, All right, I need an evaluation as best as you can, Ralph. Uh, and Uncle Luke you, you says might he need can't it. tell. Bigfoot says he's confused, but can you tell her, <laughs> is she good enough for Playboy or not? I think I you need implants. Don't you think? No. Playboy. She t- oh, she's got nice boobs. A little bigger. A little bigger for Playboy. Oh, that's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, that's Rob's evaluation. I think she's really hot, though. I think she's smoking hot. Very this hot. Is, I mean, you got to fix your teeth, though. I mean, I why would you not do that? They're Listen. expensive. Costs They're a lot cheap. of money. How much you need right now? <laughs> <laughs> what are you spending? Yeah, Artie, why don't you spend your money on something? Yeah, never mind Uncle Luke. How about Artie? Uncle Artie wants to pay for your teeth? Yeah, I'll pay you for your somebody teeth, with a nice Cadillac. Dry humping. Well, I think what the guy are saying is you're hot as hell. According to Ralph, I think he's saying if you fixed your tooth, you could get into Playboy. But see, if I was in Playboy and I got money, I would fix Yeah, but they're not going to take get. you with a snake. Have you, have you ever seen a toothless girl in Playboy? <laughs> For real. <laughs> Gumby. Gumby in Playboy. Well, you've, gotten, you've gotten a very high marks. Uh, unfortunately, Uncle Luke and Bigfoot could not evaluate because of your uh, keeping your clothes on. If but I do a quick... One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah, that would yeah, help. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah that would help. And Real slow quick. count. One, yeah, two, I'll hold, I'll hold the, uh, hold Not the, a quick one, two, three. Well, right. Go ahead, down. boys. I'll give you a chance to at least see her topless. Go ahead. Real quick. What you're comfortable with. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, she does I, not need implants. No, no, no I don't think. I think for Playboy, though, Playboy is like really big chested women. I mean, like, they're lo- usually like out to here. Uncle Luke, what no, did you no, think no, of no. those? That, see, that's natural, right? There. They're beautiful. Yeah. I, I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't say you need implants, but for Playboy, you know. I think is she, she Playboy material now? She Ralph could get says, in the college edition. She could get in college. Yeah, One of the ancillary magazines. Yeah, get get it, co- go to college. And All right, there's your honest evaluation. The boys say you're good, you're great, you could be in one of the Playboy Is there something editions. she could do to amp it up besides breast implants? Get the teeth fixed. Get the teeth fixed. Get yeah. a new get, makeover. Get a little scarf. That's when she step up to the, to uh-huh. the big leagues. Uh-huh. What are you saying, Bigfoot? A scarf would help? No, a scar on her side of her. It's not a scar. It's a little black and blue. Turn all the way around. It All the way good. around. She a a little dead. around a little bit more. She was fucking big. Yeah. Bu- She's big a little foot. shaky there, you know? Oh, like a little. See the lines under there? So she wow. better get into Playboy. Right, see quick. the lines under there, you <laughs> know? Ass, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. see them, all right. Yeah. <laughs> you got to tighten up. You baby. just tighten up a little bit. Yeah. Don't bit. tighten up at all, honey. <laughs> well, look at Artie. Artie's like 600 yeah, I'm, pounds. Yeah, I ain't her. Look at her. All right, her. let's meet girl number two. Sierra, thank you. And that was a pretty good thing. You want to date this girl? Oh, of course. Put some, look at that. Look at that broad. That's a hot smoking right. broad. That was Sierra, and uh, I don't know. She did pretty good, but of course, uh, not seeing her nude did hurt some of her chances. What was that like? It's a little nerve wracking. It was a lot, a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. How come? Because it's a smaller room, and I just I felt comfortable. It wasn't as nerve wracking as I thought it was going to be. What did you think about all their comments and, and their evaluation in general? I knew them already, so I mean. I, I respect their opinions. So you agree that you're not ready for Playboy? And- no, I mean, I think I'm ready, but the flaws that they pointed out, I already know them, you know. And, you, and you're okay with them pointing them out and everything? Yeah, yeah. Now, why are you not willing to really take off your top or, you know, get naked? Because Playboy is like a nude magazine. Yeah. A lot of people were surprised. I know Uncle Luke said he couldn't even evaluate you unless you got naked. Yeah, no, I know, because when I had talked to the guy here, he said I could go in a bathing suit. And I just, for Playboy, I would take it off just right now in front of everyone. I just Didn't feel thought comfortable. it was more appropriate just to wear my bathing suit. When that guy was blowing you in prison, you were thinking about her. That oh, type. probably. Yeah. <laughs> Girls I, just I, thin- I had a few pictures of the naked women on my on my little jail cell uh, uh, bulletin board. Right. <laughs> Girls just thinking. Tell, tell, tell he made rules about it. Yeah. He couldn't have that kind of stuff in front of. He used to have um, <laughs> w- w- women jail guards. Right. And then he would come in there, and he th- he thought it was offensive because he were uh, showing their vagina on the bulletin board and stuff like that. Right. Well, Bigfoot, you want some whiskey with me and Ralph? Uh oh. I don't drink it. I'll oh, good. have another coffee. <laughs> Can you get me some of that happy weed if I blow you? <laughs> oh, oh, sure. You give me some of that happy oh, weed. Shit. I'll let you do anything you want to Some of that happy <laughs> smoke. Oh, Bigfoot, you might want to look into Bigfoot, that. Bigfoot, did you ever uh, get it, like, in the backside from a guy? Maybe. Uh, He'd say, have you ever been uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's for some of that happy did coke. It, did you get it in the ass? Breaking it in oh, the once or twice. God oh. damn, Bigfoot. Oh. Hey, oh. oh. They call you big yeah, ass. Yeah, what did they?
they give you after you did that? That was for Vicodin and weed. <laughs> no. Why did I that happen? For it. What you got for that, Bigfoot? A little Tom. happy smoke. That's it? What Damn. happened? He gets real happy when he smokes. <laughs> Boy, weed must be better than I know. What are you smoking, Opie? It's a good thing you don't smoke, bro. <laughs> smoke anything you no get shit. your hands on. Bigfoot, explain to me what happened there. I didn't know you took that quantum leap. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? All, all kinds of quantum leaps I do. You're a big man. I wouldn't think gay guys would want to bang you in the ass. I don't know. He just sees something out of me when I don't see it. Is. Did he put a rubber on? Oh right. yeah, you put the rubber on oh. most, most definitely. Have you have you given it to guys in the ass too? Yeah. Oh man! <laughs> Ain't nobody squirted in your face. He's right? what you call no, versatile. Nobody squirted in my face. You squirted no. in another man's face? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you came in a guy's face. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Big Big foot. Foot. How you did you say you're not you're gay? Right. Did, did, did you ever pee, did you ever pee on a guy? I go around with both sides, with women or guys. You're a fucking beast, Bigfoot. I know I am. Did you ever pee on a guy or have a guy pee on you? Oh, he peed on me before in jail. Oh. He gave me their golden towers. Let me understand oh, something. Oh, man. What's better? Can I buy laser pointers? Is it better to receive? Right. Bigfoot, get up on there and get naked so we can evaluate you. Uh, let me understand something. What is uh, worse? Or what do you like better? Can get I a shot now? What do you, what do you like better getting it in the ass or rece- or uh, or giving, giving it, it in the ass? <laughs> you got me confused. Oh, Which did you like better? <laughs> when the man put his penis in your behind or when you put your penis in the man's behind? And, uh, I think I liked it better when I was putting my penis in his behind. Oh, so you're not, you're not gay. You're not what feels no, better, he's, pussy he's or ass? Right. Pussy it is. <laughs> feels he's a better. Yeah, a lot better. <laughs> Pussy's better than ass. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Really? Yeah. But you, you were able to complete in the man's... Yeah. Oh, yeah, see? You were able to get a boner and, and oh, come inside oh, a guy. Oh, guys. oh, leave me. He had to pay really well for that. Wow. Yeah. Did you really use a condom? Well. Yeah, he used a condom. Yeah. yeah. Bigfoot, you're a trisexual, if anybody asks you. <laughs> you try anything. Of course. Uh, I, you I told you that's that what you a long are. time ago when, when he first you met say, me. I'm a trisexual. Just sell I, I, I try anything just to get a rise out of people at this. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, Bigfoot, we've learned a Bigfoot's lot. Bigfoot's a party. <laughs> I like to party all the time. Right. You're a bear of a man. In the gay community, you would be called a bear. They, a big, hairy man. They yeah, like that. I'm yeah, I'm big and hairy. All right. Which guy would you like to have sex with better? Uncle Luke or Ralph? <laughs> I don't know. Don't, either one of them interests me. <laughs> Neither one. Good. 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 There's Artie more now, 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 What about Artie? Now, now he's talking a little cash, yeah. yes, okay. and I might get interested. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. All right, Bigfoot. How about if I take you over? Would you for 10 bucks? What if I take you over to Tiffany uh, Tiffany, and get you a bracelet or something? <laughs> a bracelet? <laughs> no. a bracelet. Are you shocked by this? It's shocking. I, I didn't realize Bigfoot had gotten it in the ass. That's a big <laughs> He's done it all. That's I'm a cherry. He I'm, was in prison for weed. Though. Yeah, but, you know, yeah. I, like getting in the ass is not a question for me. Never, ever. I'm trying right. to think at my most addicted state, would I let a guy blow me for heroin? You would. Probably. That's probably, a yes. Probably not. I hope not. I don't well, think so. I don't know, Artie. Yes. You were always a moneyed guy when you were in this situation. Yeah. You weren't a moneyed guy <laughs> yeah, and couldn't a... afford your hair. Oh, no. I had drugs issues when I was broke, but I never. I never might be a whole new Artie. I never considered anything gay. That would be too rough. Uh, well, Bigfoot, you've certainly had an interesting life. There's yeah, no question man, about it. It's going to be about. more interesting than before I get done. Right. I bet. I don't think there's much more you can what do. What else is there to I, do? I, I don't know. That's why I'm trying to figure out. With you guys. Have you been with an animal? Hey, you got it. Oh, I've shit. been with all kinds of animals. Oh. Uh, I've I've loaded animals in my Cadillac. No, uh, no, no, no. Did no, you no, no. fuck an animal? No. Did you oh, ever yeah, fuck like a sheep? Well, there's something. When you were growing up, you never had sex <laughs> with a sheep. There's something to hang on to. No. You never had sex with a dog or a cat? No. No, chicken? Never put butter, I had a butter cat your... there for a while. It is, and he, uh, once in a while, I get an upset stomach, it is, and I let him heat up my stomach, it is, from the, the heat from the cat <laughs> to my stomach, and he would make me feel better. All right, but you never fucked the cat. <laughs> no. No. He probably, he probably claimed I was fucking the cat. <laughs> I, how, how often did you have anal, either getting or giving it? Was that like a once a week thing, or how often were you doing that? In the ass. What? Getting one. it in the ass or, or giving it to a guy in the ass? Oh, that ha- happened to be once in um, a, a great while, this. 
That right. wasn't a regular thing. Not a regular. No, it wasn't. No, no, not, not, not like getting blown. <laughs> yeah. no, that I happened only, all the time. I can only hope that the cat that had a heat up Bigfoot stomach in another life was Hitler. Right. <laughs> That's a bad assignment. Check out Uncle Luke, by the way, at LukeRecords.net. Really? That's a very important place to go. You can check out Bigfoot on uh, his MySpace account, myspace.com backslash Mark Shaw Jr. Right. Whatever that All right. means. Whatever that means. And, uh, and Uncle Luke, we wish you luck, of course, with LukeRecords.net, a big organization. You certainly are the man. And Ralph, thank you. And uh, Ralph is on the Friday show. Ralph is on the Friday show. He's uh, occasionally on the wrap-up show. He's all over the place. And uh, three gentlemen get rid of me. <laughs> who were really, really on top of their game today. Uh, congratulations to all of you. I'm going to get loaded. Go get loaded. <laughs> and I'm going to chat up some of those chicks outside. Go chat them up. You might need to do that. You're a very beautiful woman. Hey, Bigfoot, Artie's got some <laughs> that happy smoke over there. I yeah, think. I know. The happy oh, smoke yeah. ain't get me <laughs> nowhere with the bros. It, it, it looked what? pretty brown. Uh, I don't think it What would you do for Artie smoking. for a cigarette? <laughs> <laughs> One more question, because I always ask this of the women. So, Bigfoot, have you ever had uh, your tongue in a guy's butt? Oh, shit. Uh, nope. How about a guy for you? Guy had his tongue in your butt? Yeah. Hey. Somebody oh, crushed your oh, salad, oh, Bigfoot. Oh, made sure oh. I took a shower and it got all cleaned oh, up for Y'all took a shower together? <laughs> You no, 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 no. <laughs> I took a shower with other girls together. Oh, okay. Now, you took a shower and then the guy tossed your salad. Yeah. Yeah. In was this in back. jail? Is this in jail? No, this was on the streets <laughs> when I was in Orleans and I was a little crazy back then. <laughs> this was so in New you Orleans? don't have to be in jail for all this. Some guy, on. some guy was yeah. so hot for you, he licked your whole asshole. Yeah. Wow. Damn, Bigfoot, you was a beast. <laughs> Uncle Luke, I'm crazy. Uncle Luke, you're going to have to take him on tour with you there, Uncle Luke. <laughs> Uncle, Luke no shit. Uncle Luke, girls have put their tongue in your ass, though, right? No, no, I don't, I don't let them do that. You don't let no. your no. salad be no. tossed. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm kind of the same. I don't like anybody fucking with my ass. No, don't <laughs> fuck yeah. with the ass. I don't yeah. want to put any girl through that. Judges, mm-hmm. what'd you think of today's crop? It was fine. Yeah, it was good. It was funny. Yeah. I, mean, I had a good time. I thought there were a lot of hot chicks. I mean, the, the chicks were pretty hot, but not uh, not Playboy material. So you've definitely seen a hotter, you know, trio. Like if you or... could take, like, the breasts of the one girl, the body, we, we could mix them all together, I think we would have one. Uh, yeah, yeah. So they were, like, one cut-and-paste job away yeah, from yeah. Uh, from making it. I might do that. I, I, I think might that do that. I think that one in the white there was awesome. It is. I think you would be class A material of this. Bigfoot, you seem to, like, Every single girl that came in, no matter what, they were flawless. No, I didn't like every single one. It was one there that had a little lump. Yeah, but you it. said they could all be in Playboy. You just were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you wanted to fuck all of them. No. Oh, you see what he's up to, bro. But you didn't You didn't like the bruise on the one girl. Yeah. No, you didn't like the bruise. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I don't no. like my woman br- bruised at all of it. I, I like him with being 100 to send Exactly. <laughs> Uncle Luke, do you have any advice for Bigfoot as far as like being a you know a pussyologist and uh, and an evaluator? Well, shit, Bigfoot uh, might qualify to be some. He, he's he's a he, he got a lot of different degrees going on here. I mean, in and out. I mean, Bigfoot is a, like I say, trisexual. I mean, but just use safe sex. Bigfoot. Yeah, I I I I try to yes. Yeah. It was what you're up to, you better protect yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you're having full protection. You're having six rubbers.